Hello, welcome to my bathroom. Now, I get asked a lot of times what I use on my face, what my early morning skincare routine is, so I thought I would share it with you in this quick little vlog. Now, the first thing that I do is use a cream-based cleanser, and it's really important to use a cleanser first thing in the morning because we do sweat a lot overnight. The nighttime is when our skin does a lot of its repair work. So all the dead skin cells and bits of debris and dirt and everything and perspiration in the night, that all sits on the surface of the skin. So it's really worth getting rid of that. I obviously created Cleanse and Polish back in the day. So it's still my cleanser of choice, use it twice a day. And that is about the size that you need. If you're using a cream-based cleanser, that is going to be enough to do your whole face and neck and at night, obviously, you know, take off eye makeup as well. Don't forget to use your neck as well with it. So your skincare should really always kind of come down to at least here, um, because the neck often shows the signs of aging. So I will use the cleanser. I actually use it in the shower first thing, but I thought I'm not gonna take you there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do this here. So having cleansed, and you can get, you know, cotton muslin cloths, a lot of brands uh, provide them with their cleansers, or you can use a baby's muslin, it tends to be a lot bigger. So if you get a much bigger one, then you can just cut it in half or cut it into four. But the muslin, I think, is a really good texture for gently exfoliating the skin um, without using a, a kind of a gritty scrub. Although I do quite like scrubs as well, but first thing in the morning, I use a cloth and a cream cleanser. Then use a skin tonic. Um, the one that I'm liking at the moment is the Ishka one. You may have seen that I was up in the Outer Hebrides recently. And I like this just on a cotton pad. Um, and it just sort of sweeps away any last traces of cleanser it's got brightening ingredients this one has seaweed and cucumber there's another lovely one i like based on rose water and a spritzer is always a nice thing to look for because you can also you know refresh your face during the day um, or just spritz it on if you don't want to use a cotton pad so cleanse tone the next thing is serum and I use different serums depending, I mean, I'm trialling lots of things all the time, obviously. This is Lily's from Cell Return, the Rich Gold. It's absolutely amazing. One of the reasons I love it is that it has a really good quality hyaluronic acid as well as these tiny little gold particles. Can you see them? Now, you don't need very much serum. A serum goes a long way. So that's the kind of quantity. And you could spread that, you know, just dot it on the skin. Take it down over the neck and it just gives that little bit of brightening. And if your skin isn't that dry, often that is enough as a base, particularly if your serum contains hyaluronic acid. Um, but my skin is quite dry, so I do tend to follow it with a moisturiser, particularly if you're using a retinol product at night because that does dry the skin. So other serums that I like, this is another one that I'm trying at the moment. It's an Icelandic brand called Lumine, and this has vitamin C in it. This is more of a, a liquidy uh, serum. So what I would do with a liquid serum is I would just put a few drops in the palm of my hand like that, and then rub them together, and then just rub that gently over the skin. Vitamin C is really good because it's a natural skin brightener. So yeah, obviously I wouldn't normally use two serums, I'm just showing you the two together. And then I will follow it with a moisturiser, and this is the one that I'm really liking. I'm liking anything with hyaluronic acid for older skin, I think is a really good moisturising ingredient. This is the Beauty Pie, it's triple hyaluronic acid, and you can see how much I like it because I've used most of it. So just a little bit, particularly where the skin is drier, so that's kind of more on the cheeks, Less on the forehead, but, you know, use it wherever you're dry and definitely take it down over the neck as well. In fact, sometimes I'll just pop a little bit of extra just down here. Really pays off over time if you can use a bit of extra skincare down here. And the other thing, of course, going into the summer months that's really important is an SPF. Now, if I'm spending most of my day indoors, if I'm writing, researching, filming, whatever, I tend not to use a separate SPF 
but definitely if I am outside during the day, particularly later in the day, early morning sun, fine, I go out, I do like to get my early morning sunshine with nothing on my skin at all, but later in the day, then yes, definitely, when the sun's rays are so much stronger. And this is one that I'm using at the moment. It was recommended by a dermatologist friend of mine. It's called PCA Skin, and it's a broad spectrum SPF 45. And I always look for, moist, uh, for sun care that has quite a high level of mineral sunscreens. This one has a lot of zinc oxide in it, but it's not whitening on the skin. So although it looks quite white, it actually disappears into the skin quite well. And you know, particularly where your skin is going to show the signs of aging, it's really important to use you know cheeks, forehead, you know, anywhere that gets the full force of the sun is really good to use. And if I was going out, I would probably use a little bit more than that. And also, depending on what I'm wearing, I would also make sure that I'm using sun care up here as well, because this is the area where the sun can hit most. So that is pretty much my morning skincare routine. I will do an evening one later, so just pop a comment below if you have a question for me. But of course, skincare is not just what sits on the surface of the skin, it's also what we eat. Don't forget, we make our skin cells from within. So drink lots of water, really important. Mm. And the other supplement that I like for the skin is the Ingenious Beauty Collagen Capsules. I take three, of the, uh, yeah, three, three or four of these a day and um, really like them. So beauty from inside and out. I hope that's helpful. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you would like to watch more of my videos on wellness, health, beauty, skin, and all of that. And if you have comments or questions, please pop them below and I'll make sure that all the products that I've used with links, etc., are in the caption. See you next time.